So I saw someone on the Adobe eLearning community forums talking about how they weren't able to display their mouse during a video demo recording. And I thought I'd record just a quick video and I'm not using my normal equipment. I'm just outside sitting on the deck with my laptop. Thought this would be an interesting experiment as well. But I'll just show you the procedures here. And uh, one of the things that you wanna check before you record your video demo is to go into the settings option that you saw on that screen there. And you wanna make sure that show mouse in video demo is selected. Mine presently is not. I'm gonna go ahead and record it anyway. And we'll just click okay and show you what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and record. And what I'm showing people today is a procedure on how to translate any document in Microsoft Word. So I have the Spanish passage here, and I'm going to go to the Review tab, and you'll see that we've got the Translate uh, option on our ribbon here. So I'm going to translate this document. I'll select Auto Detect and translate it to English. So I'm going to go ahead and hit translate right here. And now my text is translated. So I can go ahead and stop the Captivate recording. So I now have a very simple video demo. And we'll see the preview, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and press the edit button in the bottom right hand corner there. And there's my video demo. Let's just resize it so that we can see the whole video demo. So let's just do a quick preview of this here. You can still see my cursor on screen, but you can't see the mouse. So anything that I'm doing with the mouse isn't showing up there. So I'm going to go ahead and press stop at this point here. And what you want to do actually is click your edit drop down menu and select edit mouse points. And what you'll see on your timeline are all of your mouse clicks here. And to have them show up, just select any one of them. Just click on one, and you'll see over in the Properties Inspector, there are options that you can make to not only show your mouse, as I'm gonna do here, but we can do other things too, like smoothen the mouse path. We can reduce the speed before click, and we can show the mouse click with a bit of a color highlight here. I like the blue, we'll go with that there. And once you've made the changes to one of these mouse clicks, you don't have to do that same change to all the remaining mouse clicks. Of course, that could take a tremendous amount of time. Instead, what you wanna do is click this little tiny menu up to the upper right-hand corner of your properties inspector and choose apply to all items of this type. Once you do that, all of your mouse clicks will now, of course, have those same settings. And of course, you'll have a nice, smooth mouse movement on screen for all of your video demos. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.